talk about the model airplanes and oh. why you do it. Yeah, I've got over <laughs> 300 German airplanes. Uh, why German airplanes? Well, I used to wonder about that myself when I was a kid. I used to always be the bad guy. I was, whenever we played on the bicycles and we were airplanes flying around in our bicycles, I was always the Mr. Smith pilot. And so we would chase each other and play dog fights. And I used to always wonder, why am I always the bad guy in when we played? Why did I always be the bad guy? Well, because, number one, I always chose to be. So I used to always pretend and yell. And it actually came from comic books, reading more comic books. So I would pick up little bits of German, things like Ach die Himmel or Ach Tum, you know, things like that. But I started building these models when I was in, in high school. Not these particularly, but um, similar to them. But they were so inaccurate, I got frustrated and wouldn't build anymore. And then in, in, uh, in the 70s, I was in Rhode Island, and I was doing a, a commission for a guy that collected camouflage. So I was doing a, a painting of the Germans landing on Crete using all this real stuff that he gave me to look at. And um, so he took me to a hobby store, and uh, I, got, I got hooked. And part of it has to do, which I believe, at some point in my history of uh, my entire life as an individual human being on the planet Earth, I think at one point I was shot down as a German pilot and I died in a fire. Uh, and the reason I say this is the first time I flew in an airplane, as soon as I got close to the aircraft and I smelled the aviation fuel, I freaked out. I was about six, seven years old. I threw myself on the ground and wouldn't get on the airplane. I said, I'm not flying in an airplane because it's going to burn. I'm going to die. I don't want to die in fire. I, I get this memory in my mind. So I started reading up about the German Air Force, the German planes. What, where, where, is this, where is this coming from? So that's when I started reading about Tibet, past lives, and things like that. Then I realized I must. this must have been one of my past lives. So that's what I'm doing, is recreating a certain era of my past life. And it's also a hobby, because one of the things about taxes is one is painting a hobby and one is painting a profession. So I'm a professional painter, and this is my hobby. So I have a hobby. So I build these airplanes. I do a lot of incredible research on them. This is my library on German aircraft. And I... For the life of me, this is this is all fairly a new experience in the sense of what they're doing with model airplanes. Um, they've run out of ideas, so now they're making airplanes that were never built. They call it the uh, Luftwaffe 46. So it's airplanes like uh, these were actually on the drawing boards, and later some of these designs uh, came up in the American Air Force. Why? Project Paperclip, or what is it? Was it Paperclip, Project Paperclip? Operation. Operation Paperclip, or Project Paperclip, where they brought all the German engineers, German scientists to the United States, uh, Werner von Braun, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of them were aircraft designers who started to work for Convair, different aircraft companies, and designing new aircraft. 